So I recently created this Twitter clone that has like a lot of the functionality the actual Twitter has, such as creating accounts and then tweeting from them and then liking and adding people and then having hashtags. And then if you press on one, you'll go to the search field where you actually you know, see the hashtags and see how many people that actually use the hashtag GG. You can also like search for tweets. Uh, you know, if you search for E, you can see every single tweet that has the E in it. You can visit people's profiles. So here's mine. Uh, and this is not the actual account that I'm on, but you know, another account. Um, and you can see a lot about them. You can see all of their followers, uh, which is what I want to cover because f having you know followers in a relationship was kind of hard to get, and I didn't really see anybody who actually had it. I uh, didn't find any good materials, such as like a YouTube video or or an article actually showing how to do this in a proper way that I found at least. A and also, getting like a personalized feed was pretty hard. Uh, and so I wanted to show how I went about it and actually solved it. I think it would be helpful because if I had this issue I think a lot of other people would have the same issue so looking at an SQL database the the one that I had at least it looked something like this we had the two tables we have a users table uh, that had an ID column and a name column so here you just have some example data right and then we had another table called follower and here it only had two columns it had a follower ID that pointed to the like the the row in the user table where the actual follower uh, was and then the follows ID which pointed to the you know row here who was actually followed so we can see here on the first row we can see that LS which is this Leo row l follows YH the ID of YH which is John over here uh, and then YH follows NS which is that John follows Nate so we have this, uh, this table that represents all of the followers and so I have created a very simple um, just project using Prisma. Uh, th th all the sort of like the concepts and the code will be pretty much pretty applicable to any sort of SQL database that you have, even if you're not using TypeScript or JavaScript. If you're just using PHP or Ruby or whatever, it doesn't matter. The code should be applicable to you as well, uh, as long as you're using SQL. And whatever flavor of SQL you're using, it doesn't really matter. Uh, for me, I'm using MySQL alongside um, Planet Scale, the host database, because I find it very, very easy. And if we look at the Prima or the Prisma file, I mean, we can see we only have one table at the moment, which is this exact table, which has a name that is string and then an ID, which is just some random ID that SQL provides us, right? And I've already created three. Um, if I were to clear this up, I have created three uh, rows already in my user collection, because now in the code you can see that I am fetching all of the users and then console logging them out. And if I were to run this, we would see that three rows should be printed out here. Uh, pretty slow, but yeah, here we go. So we have all of those from here. So we have John, Leo, and Nate, all right? We have them here. And now I wanna see like, okay, how can we add relationships to this? Because that's the entire point. So let's go back to our schema.prisma file. Let's close this down. And let's actually, uh, if I just clean this up a little bit, Let's create a new table. So let's call it um, follower, if I can spell. Follower, like that. And this is only gonna have two rows, as we said. It's gonna have a follower ID, which is a string. And then it will also have a follows uh, ID, which is also a string. But now, Prisma will complain at me because it needs to have some sort of ID, right? And the ID that we're gonna have is like a combined ID of both of these, right? So you go ID and then we want the follower ID as well as the follows IDs ID. And this ensures that uh, pretty much all the rows here they, that they are unique when it comes to who follows who. So LS could never follow YH again. This like combination of IDs could only happen once. That's pretty much what this little row here or this line of code does. Uh, but with Prisma as well, we can have, like we can make sure that this actually points to a user. And the way we do that is we go, okay, we have a follower here as well, follower, and it's gonna be type user. And this can have a relation uh, relation uh, to to and then fields 
we go uh, follower ID and then the reference so this points to the reference over here so what actually is this follower ID well it's the ID over here right we're pointing to that part like that and then if we just save this we're gonna see that it all already like puts this right here which is we need to have a follower collection or not a collection but you know a, a follower row pretty much this is never gonna touch the actual database this is just for Prisma to know of right and then we're gonna do the exact same thing for our follow follows so here we're gonna have uh, this is gonna be follows ID and now it's gonna complain because it, it sort of you know points to the same thing twice over here so we're gonna have another one that goes follows follow wait this is follower this should be followers this should go follows wait yeah I think this is right yeah okay I'm <laughs> uh, com confusing the uh, this should be followers right followers this is this part yeah okay wait I'm f yeah I'm tripping this is right this is right okay but what we need to do here is put relationships here so we go and uh, this should be follower like so and this is uh, follows like so and then here we need to point at them so this is just some uh, this is all only Prisma things so if you're not using Prisma you shouldn't really need to worry about this uh, and then this should go like that now it's happy okay I, I apologize uh, but now it's happy right and now I've successfully set up a schema that has a user collection alongside a follower collection that uh, yeah and all of the followers here are gonna point to a user so it's all you know syncing up and it's gonna be pretty simple to use so let's say that we wanted to create a new follower so let's say that if we check here we want to say that John should follow Leo sorry so we have this ID and this ID now I'm gonna do this very ugly with uh, uh, here because I'm not really having endpoints but if you have endpoints which I guess you have it should it should look a little bit better than this, but we're gonna go await Prisma, uh, and then we're gonna go for um, the follows collection, uh, follower collection. I mean, my bad. And what we're gonna write here is that we're gonna go, we're gonna create, or well not not count, create a new one, and we're gonna say that uh, the data here is going to be. A or the follower ID, so the actual person that uh, follows is this one, so John, and then the follows uh, ID is going to be this one right here. I think I misspelled it, but whatever, it, it's fine. <laughs> uh, and so now, if I were to save this and run the code again, we should not get anything, but it should close. Great, and now if we were to get all of our, um, if we were to get all of our followers, so followers equals await prisma dot uh, follower dot find many, like so, and then we just console log this part out, log, like so. If I were to run this again, we should see that we have another or uh, a new follower created. There we go. So this is our only uh, row in the document at the moment. Uh, nice. So that's how you sort of set up follower relationships between people. But now I want to take it one step further and show you how you can actually create, or not, not create, but how you can find like all, only the posts in which you actually follow pretty much. So for that, we're going to be able to, we're going to need to create a new model here. It's going to be a post uh, model, so a new table. And it should have an ID that looks the exact same as this one, so I'm just going to copy it over. Um, and then it's also going to have a text, which is just string. And then all of our all of our posts are going to have a, a user associated to them, pretty much. So somebody needs to like own this post, pretty much, right? Somebody created this post, so they own it. So I'm going to say that the owner ID should be a string, and it's going to point to a specific owner is of type user um, and uh, the relation here should be relation 
uh, the fields is the owner ID and then the reference again we're gonna point to the specific ID over here and now it already created this post field over there but it's not gonna be post it's gonna be posts uh, like that right so now we just created a new uh, model uh, for post and it now should uh, have it there but because I'm using planet scale I need to push this to my to my database so I have a command that I wrote in my package.json this is just to update the scheme in our actual database sort of like migrate so I go yarn db push like so uh, it should work great uh, and now let's say that I wanted to create a I wanted to create a new post so let's go await prisma dot post dot create uh, and let's create many because I want to have many so we go the data is going to be is this going to be an array yeah this should be an array so wait uh, like so and here the text is going to be first post and then the owner ID here is going to be let's see let's go with this is going to be john's post so i add it there and then let's have a another one like so and it's going to be a third post because that makes sense now oh, i misspelled it <laughs> third there we go my bad and let's go with a third an actual third and let's go my name is leo and let's take leo's idea for this one Ta-da! And now, if I run this, we should create some. Uh, we should create a couple of new uh, records in our database. So now we have three posts at the moment, right? And earlier we saw that we made sure that John followed Leo, right? We created that uh, relationship here when we created a new follower, right? So now I want to say I want to like pretend that I'm John. And I want to get all of the tweets uh, from all the people that I follow. At the moment, it's only Leo, uh, but that shouldn't really be an issue. Because now, if I were to uh, delete this, right, and I can delete this as well because it's becoming quite a lot now. Uh, I want to get all of the tweets, or not the tweets, the <laughs> the posts. So I go const posts equals await prisma dot post. <laughs> Uh, and then I want to find many and now we're gonna do a bit of a weird uh, a bit of a weird 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 query pretty much uh, maybe it is for you maybe it's not maybe you've seen this before so we're gonna look at the owner of all the tweets right or not all the tweets but it's gonna do a lot of smart things here and then we're gonna look at all of the followers of that tw uh, of that owner of the actual post and we're going to see if some of them, aka one of them, is or has the follower ID of our specific user, which should be John. Let's just double check. This is John. This is John's ID. Great. So let's go over exactly what happened here. So we're going to find all or many, many posts where the owner of that post has followers, where some of those followers, and remember this followers thing is pointing to our scheme over here. Right, and it the schema has a follower ID and a follows ID. But we want to look at the follower here and check if that is our weird ID here for John. Right, so if we go back here again, the follower table looks like this, and it has a follower ID and a follows ID. We want to check at the follower ID because we want to know is this John, right? Like is is the follower ID here John? So this should be something like the the second row here. It is John, right? So if the follower ID, so if John is as a follower for this specific user, Nate, then it gets all of Nate's posts, pretty much, is what's going on here. Uh, but now we don't follow Nate, and Nate doesn't even have any posts, so it wouldn't even matter. But now if I were to log, log this out, and I go posts, like that. Now if I run this, we should see that we only get one post back. Uh, wait, follower ID, 
uh, followers. Is this where did I where did I mess it up? <laughs> because now I got all of my own posts, right? Like our John's post, pretty much. Um, wait a minute, because here we have. Uh, I think I messed it up over here, actually. I think so. Uh, yeah, no wait. Where is it exactly that it messed up? Um. Oh well. If I were to go. Follows ID. No, now I think I should get it right. Uh, now I got none. Wait. Okay, but now I have to double check because I'm very sure that I did get or I did create at least here, right? I created a um. I created a users collection. Wait. Um, okay, so I th I th I think I just found the issue, and that was that I had accidentally swapped these, um, so they were in you know the other order, and I fixed them now. But pretty much what I had said, or what it should, what it was supposed to be, right, was that all of the followers of a given user, right, should be all of the, if if you look at the follower table right it's all of where like you know the, the table points to you know the follows column um, is this user right so if let's say uh, if we go back here right all of the followers of John right are everywhere where he is in the follows ID right where he's in this column I had said that they should be here so the issue that I had was that I was looking at you know I was finding all of the like here for the specific example, right? We can see that John does not follow John, right? He follows Nate over here, but I was still pointing at him because I was I had flipped these two around, so uh, just swap them, right? Put them in the right order. My bad. Uh, anyways, if we go back now to here, right? I need to create because of I I deleted the the previous followers followers table pretty much. Or all of the rows in there at least. So if I just run this now, yarn dev, actually run the command. I think that a yes, exactly. So now I've created the uh, followers. So now this ID right here belongs to John, and this is the Leo's. Um, and so now John is a follower that follows Leo pretty much. That's how well our table says to us now. So if I were to comment this out, then we go back here to the code. That it was previously. Uh, now, if we were to log posts, posts like that, and I were to run this again, now we should only see one single post belonging to Leo. I hope we don't. That's unfortunate. So, <laughs> let's actually just look at. Um, let me actually try to find why that wasn't a thing. So let's go for follow followers like that and that should be a rate of follower let's find many um, and then I want to like include so we can actually see the actual user so include the follower like so and let me just go yeah true and the follows as true as well and then log this out like so okay so now we can see that we have uh, a single follow record or a single row where the follower ID is this one and the follows ID is this one so we have the actual follower is John that follows Leo right and so if I look at this again you should have that the owner were followers, some are this one. Uh, and this is. Okay, uh, so here there should be follower, I think. Yeah, that's the issue. Okay, I think I got it now. I had switched them previously, so I had to swap them again now. My bad. Let me just delete this. Uh, it became quite a mess now. So here, alright, this should be follower. ID, right? Should be that. So now, if I run it, 
Hopefully, we only see a single post. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. So now uh, we can see that we only got a single post, which is uh, my name is Leo, which is from Leo, the actual user, right? Um, and I don't even know if this is the best way to do it because you can do it another way, which is pretty close, which is that you go uh, const create a new variable post equals await um, and not post. We want to go for like follower dot uh, find many right, and then we're gonna find like here's gonna be the same thing. So the word query is gonna be a lot simpler here. We're just gonna go for where the follower ID is. Uh, this one right here, right, and then what we want to select here from this uh, row is only the follows user, <laughs> and here we want to go and we want to select the uh, posts, and this does not really become simpler. I think it might like from a programming standpoint, right, from the developer experience, this is a lot harder to do because now we're pretty much selecting all of the users. For all of the followers, we're looking at that table, then finding all of the all of the corresponding rows where you know we are the follower. So finding all of them and then selecting from them, we select the users posts. But this becomes very hard, right? And we're gonna see why. Because uh, wait, where can I? I just want to include true. I think yeah. No wait, no, I'm tripping actually. Select posts. Yeah, I just want to get posts true so like that and now if i were to run this we should see that we get some posts yeah exactly we get one post but the issue with this is that it's super like nested and usually when you do this you're gonna have like you know get a lot of because you follow a lot of people so you're gonna get all of those rows and all of the posts here but they're all like nested this way and like performance wise this might be better but from a developer experience it's definitely not better uh and so I, I I don't know I don't I would not go with this one. This is sort of the solution that I went for because I found it the most convenient. You get a single array of all the posts, regardless of you know whatever, pretty much. Uh, and then you can order them as well. Extremely simple. Yeah, you can order them by you know text or whatever. Um, but you should probably have like a created ad or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm <laughs> I can't I can't judge over that. But you should have something that looks like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I went about creating follower relationships, as well as uh, getting all the posts from a single user, pretty much. Uh, the code should be linked in the GitHub repo below, so feel free to just check out the code, uh, because I think it was a bit confusing, maybe, <laughs> because I had some technical issues. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.